In this video, we're going to be going over kind of setting ourselves up for animation. So currently, when we don't have a weapon, we run around and everything just like normal. But when we do have one, we do the same thing. I want to have this set up so when you pick up a weapon, you transition to this stance here. Now let's go to our CPP and our survival character. First thing we want to do is we want to comment out the spawning and attaching of our weapon by default. And in our header, let's go ahead and move our on rep function down where we have everything else. I forgot to do that in the last video. And create a blueprint callable function that will determine whether or not we have a weapon or not. So we're not going to replicate a boolean as well. Instead, we're going to go based off of the actual weapon. So if it's null, we know we have no weapon. If it's valid, we have a weapon. So you function blueprint callable bool player has weapon or no get player has weapon that that should be okay. Create a definition if weapon return true otherwise return false and build. Alrighty. Now we need to actually get some of these animations. So this is from the Anim Starter Pack, which I think I showed how to put on. But if not, you just go to the marketplace. Just type in animation. Go from price low to high. And you should see the starter pack. Or what's it called? No, it's literally animation starter pack. So, animation starter pack. Whoops. And it's the first thing that comes up. Go ahead and click on it. Add it to your cart. Then when you find it, click add to project. Click your project. Add it. And you will come up with this. Now, we want to export a few animations out so we can load them into our current skeleton because right now these are set up for its own mannequin so for now I know the ones that I want to do are going to be idle rifle hip oh, where's the forward sprint forward rifle I know there's a few more, I'm just having a hard time reading it. Jog LT rifle, and this should be Jog RT. And I think that's it for now. So idle rifle hip, jog LT, jog right T, and sprint forward. Actually there should be a backwards. Eh, doesn't matter. So we're gonna right click on them. Go to Asset Actions, Export, and just save it. Uh, this, I think, is checked by normal. Go ahead and uncheck it. There's no point. Everything else should be default. Click Export. Do the exact same thing for the rest. Now let's go over here to our Mannequin folder, Animation. I want to make a new folder. Call this one weapons right click import and select all the ones that you just exported and for the skeleton oops type man and make sure you get the right path so this one's game just where forward slash mannequin forward slash character which is correct that's ours click it everything else should be the same and import all Alright, there we have our animations. 
So here's our, rifle, our idle rifle hip. And right away we can see we actually should really move the socket, well, rotate the socket over. So go to our skeleton tree, find our socket, and rotate it just a little bit so it fits in the hand. It's not perfect, but it's much closer and it's pretty much vertical. Alright, so now let's see. We need a way to kind of blend these animations. So we can do that by right clicking, go to the animation, and blend space. The skeleton is going to be our mannequin. Make sure it's the right one again. Call this one Weapon Anim. BS for blend space. Eh, actually. Whoops. BS underscore weapon animation. Open it up. And asset details. So I want the left to right horizontal to be the speed at which we're moving. And we want that to go from 0 to 600 because remember 600 is the maximum speed that we can move, like normal running. That's our sprinting speed, I think. Yeah, it should be. And we're going to have that, so on the far left, that's going to be our idle, so idle rifle hip. Then the sprint forward rifle. It's going to be that. Do we have a rifle walk? Because otherwise this is going to look kind of weird. Alright, we need to we will have to export uh, one more. Uh, jog LT rifle. Gonna have that here and the right here. So you can see the directions how we change. With that, based on the direction. So we want that to go from the minimum for the rotation negative 180 to positive 180. That'll make it nice and balanced out. And you can see how this all kind of blends together. So let's export the last animation that we need, which should be the walking. So eh, we can use it. Jog forward rifle. So right click, export it. and import it. Alright, so find the jog forward rifle. I'm going to put that at the 150. Because I think that's roughly how we have ours set up. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. Let's just move him to the 300 for now. And I guess I can't select multiple. But this should be our normal speed. When we rotate, we pit around, and as we start sprinting, yeah, you can kind of get the idea. So let's save it. Uh, open up our third person animation blueprint. Now this, we have our event graph. And over here, default, this is our state machine. That's going to kind of dictate how everything is set up. So default, we're going to have our idle run. We're going to have a new state that is going to be kind of like a branch off for if we have a weapon. So I'm going to actually move, dang it, all the normal stuff up here. And we're going to have the uh, rifle stuff down below it. So for the event graph, we have our try upon get owner. We're going to go ahead and cast to a survival character. And I'm just going to do that right up here. Then we're going to do our color blueprint function that we just made. So get player has weapon. And we're going to set our return value to a variable that we're making right now. So has weapon. We're going to set it like so. 
and then we're going to reconnect the node which determines whether or not we are falling or jumping which we're going to have to add that in later on as well alright so now we should be able to know whether or not we do in fact have a weapon uh, let's go to our state machine and off of the idle slash run if we open it up you can see how the speed kind of dictates how the blend space is going uh, we do need to figure out a way to get our direction but for now I think we're just going to go off of speed so drag out add state call this one weapon idle slash run <coughs> and then we have the condition for the us to be in so these are pretty much your conditions so like the jump start this will determine if we're in the air you can hover over it and see so in our case we're going to do has weapon so if we have a weapon we're going to enter it and in it we can do blend space weapon animation pass it in first things first we're going to get our speed and we're going to handle direction later on but compile save and this should allow us to have our blend space when we pick up a weapon press E, pick it up, as you can see it transitioned we have our moving, as you can see the turning and stuff's a little wonky but it's not bad yeah, we sprint, we start sprinting yeah, we do have some things that we need to work on but overall you can see how it's working jumping is still moving because of velocity is what it's based on so we need to do a check so if we're not falling then we will be uh... we're gonna do that just like how it has it here so we're gonna branch off and do a jump start jump loop jump end but with the actual weapon holding animations but you can see how this is beginning to work so i want to leave this as is for right now and that way we can move on to a little bit more actual fun stuff like shooting from the actual weapon and we're continuing with it so instead of going based off our head where we're looking we're gonna actually go off the muzzle and all that kind of stuff and that should be in the next video i think we're gonna get started on maybe eh, we'll just kind of set it up basic and then expand on as we go so we're gonna set up the weapons next for firing i will see you then